were here in Concord at the State House for a rally for the teachers' bargaining rights. We came here to take a look at what exactly is going on here. But your coming here this afternoon is a tribute to your dedication that the House will be sending to the Senate and to Governor Lynch for consideration. Educators, parents, and other education... Legislators and the governors sort out what's happening. Under HB2, we will become employees at will. We can be hired, we can be fired, and our contract, our very rights, do not protect us anymore. Good afternoon, my name is Sherry Sparks and I love my job. I think the independents that voted this last time out, they must be looking at, if they are, if they're looking at saying, is this what we voted for? We voted for jobs. We voted for the economy. We voted for spending to be controlled. We didn't vote for this. Here you guys did. Worked all day long. And we said, you know what? We got to go come to Concord. An old young man who has cerebral palsy and as a result has severe... Advocate. We say educate. You say advocate. You say educate. You say advocate. Uh, but before I go any further, before I go any further, what is your... Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's, 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 you know, checks and balance system, and then the governor may, or the courts might have to step in and make some decisions as well. I think that it's very important to read the newspapers. I read the newspaper every day, many newspapers, online and in print, and I go on to the House website and I see what the bills are and I read what the votes are and stay on top of it. You write a letter to, the, to your legislature, you write a letter to the editor, maybe you go on the blogs, maybe you go on to the social networking sites, you show up at a rally like this, and you get active because democracy is not a spectator sport. We have to be active. That's all we have for you today, but I'm urging you to just keep an open mind and look at the newspaper. Every one of you can make the difference. One person can make the difference. Call your legislator, write your legislator, and demand to be heard.